instructors will be using the um, the walkways, so please mind your feet and belongings. And now, please enjoy William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days bring in another moon. But, oh, methinks how slow this old moon wanes. She lingers my desires like to a stepdame or a dowager, long withering out a young man's revenue. Four days will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away in time. In the moon, like a silver bow, new bent to the heavens, shall behold the night of our Solemnities. <laughs> Go, one of you, stir up the Athenian youth to merriment. Away the part of a nimble spirit of mirth. Turn melancholy forth the funerals. The pale companion is not for our fault. Hippolyta, I wound thee with my sword, and one thy love doing thee injuries. But I will wed thee in another key, with pomp, with triumph, and Happy me, Theseus! Or we now be Come I with complaint against my child, my daughter, Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius. My noble lord, this man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander. And, my gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. Thou, thou, Lysander, thou hast given her rhymes and interchanged love tokens with my child. Thou hast by moonlight at her window sung, with feigning voice, verses of feigning love, and stolen the impression of her fantasy, with bracelets of thy hair, rings, gauds, conceits, knacks, trifles, nosegays, sweetmeats, messengers of strong prevailment and unpardoned you. With cunning hast thou filched my daughter's heart, and turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness. So, my gracious duke, though she may not hear before your grace consent to marry with Demetrius, I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, I may dispose of her, which shall be either unto this gentleman or to her death, according to our law immediately provided in that case. What say you, Hermia? Be advised, fair maid. To you, your mother should be as a god. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander! In himself he is, but in this kind, wanting your mother's voice, the other must be held the worthier. I would my mother look with, with my eyes! Rather, your eyes must with her judgments look! <laughs> I do entreat your grace to pardon me. I know not how the power I am made bold, but I beseech your grace that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die the death, or to abjure forever the society of men. Therefore, fair Hermia, question your desires, know of your youth, examine well your blood, whether if you yield not to your mother's choice, you can endure the livery of a nun. So will I grow, so live, so die, my lord, and will I yield my virgin patent up unto his lordship, whose on wish and yoke my soul consents not to give sovereignty. Take time to pause. By the next new moon, the sealing day betwixt my love and me, upon that day prepare to die for disobedience to your mother's will. Relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield thy crazy title to my certain right. You have her mother's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Will you marry her? Going for Lysander, true, he hath my love, and what is mine, my love shall render him. As she is mine, and all my right of her, I do estate unto Demetrius. I am, my lord, as well derived as he, as well possessed. My love is more than his, my fortunes in every way as fairly ranked, if not with vantage, as Demetrius. And, which is more than all these boasts can be, I am beloved of beauteous Hermia. Why should not I then prosecute my right? Demetrius, all avouch it to his head, made love with Nader's daughter, Helena, and won her soul. And she, sweet lady, dotes, devoutly dotes, dotes in idolatry upon this spotted and inconstant man. Am 
must confess that I have heard so much, and with Demetrius thought to have spoke thereof, but being overfull of self-affairs, my mind did lose it. But Demetrius, come, and come and GSU shall go with me. I have some private schooling for you both. With duty and desire, we follow you. For you, fair Hermione, would you arm yourself and fit your fancies to your mother's will, or else 